Hey, what is going on, SMT Nation? It is your boy, the SMT. Huge news coming out of T-Mobile. Today, they announced the launch of their standalone 5G network, the first wireless carrier to do so here in the United States. T-Mobile says that this move will improve their 5G network performance, increase in coverage substantially nationwide. Currently, all United States wireless telecommunications companies when it comes to their networks, utilize a 4G LT network core and infrastructure, and the 5G piece has really only been at the radio level. With a true 5G standalone core, when it comes to the architecture, this is where we can actually see uh, innovations and improvements in latency, with ping times getting much uh, lower, greatly reducing uh, you know, these values tremendously in a very measurable way. Also, upload speeds can increase exponentially, as well as the potential with download speeds, but it really opens up a lot of new use cases. So all the things when it comes to IoT, other applications like mobile inventorying and other new industry uses, uh, a lot of those things can happen with standalone 5G. Now, the latent, latency improvements, uh, T-Mobile is saying they are going to improve by 40%. This will greatly enhance the network responsiveness for them. And they did say that a 20 to 30 percent improvement in downlink and uplink speed uh, is also in tow. T-Mobile has also indicated that any spectrum that is refarmed to standalone 5G to a 5G application usage will see data speeds increase two to three fold. Uh, T-Mobile is still going to be utilizing NSA or non standalone while deploying its standalone plans. Also in the announcement, T-Mobile did claim a 30% increase in its 5G in terms of its footprint. So adding 300,000 new square miles of coverage with 2,000 new markets. And T-Mobile does claim that it now does have two times the footprint of AT&T's 5G network. Uh, T-Mobile marketed this announcement in Lisbon, North Dakota with a drone show. Uh, they wanted to show that obviously, you know, 5G can what it can do and display that it will help uh, people in rural America as well as extend parts of the country. And uh, they are reminding everyone that they will have uh, excellent indoor and long range usage with their uh, 5G services. So this was all announced officially from Neville Ray, the network boss from in the form of a tweet. No details actually provided about the technology. Uh, so we don't know exactly what is the the measurable change happening on the network level i don't know exactly what is being done other than the claimed benefits and accomplishment here by t-mobile so i i can't really comment too much on the actual network operation side uh it, it appears that this is solely a uh, a marketing effort without any details that we can kind of cling on to so uh the t-mobile network core lacks any form of qci management or tiered intelligent access. Uh, it's quite outdated and it, it lacks a, a lot of the new modern features. So this would clearly modernize the network and improve the quality of service and obviously would make the network much more intelligent, responsive and scalable. Uh, you know, T-Mobile last week did uh, claim that they were gonna have the first standalone 5G network in the US. And according to their claims, they have done it with this announcement. I just, I don't really have anything to go off of to tell you what exactly they did because the last last news i had from last week was that they were going to be launching it uh here in quarter three and uh i guess that's what they did i just don't know exactly what it is they did per se because uh, i know that from the engineer side they are just now starting to receive training on 5g network uh core operations and then things of that nature so i don't know exactly what 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 they did or whatever but you know of course you know, the voice of the people, the SMT Nation, let me know what you think of this announcement. I don't know when we're going to be seeing the tangible improvements. I know that they're going to be focusing on, you know, expanding uh, sites, tower sites to get capacity improvements as they do migrate customers over from the Sprint side to the T-Mobile side. Uh, they do have congestion issues in certain markets. Uh, they do have coverage issues in certain places how this fits in with all of that i hope it does really help because i mean now they're stomping with the big dogs they just consumed sprint they just had this huge merger and um 
you know, all these things are going to really start to have to come together for them. But in my opinion, this announcement, you know, it's it's all basically marketing. I don't really know what exactly, you know, they have in terms of a tangible improvement measurable right now. So I don't know. It's th- th- that's just what the announcement is. So let me know what you guys think in the uh, comment section, the voice of the people, the SMT Nation, let your voice be heard. Uh, before we get to going, if you appreciated the daily dedication from the SMT, please do rate this video, give it a like, and then also give it a share to all your favorite social media platforms. If you're new, it's your first time here, consider subscribing and activating the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. And, um, you know, check out some of the links in the description box for all the community items. We got the, the podcast. All our favorite, all your favorite podcast platforms. We do all the audio-only podcasts there. Uh, we're on Google, we're on Apple, we're on Spotify, we're on all of them. So check us out. Also, a link to the Patreon page. We also have the SD Tech Twitter handle where we do Periscope lives and other things. And of course, if you like the beats in this video, do check out Chosen Beats, Chosen Beats Club, where we get all of our uh, background music here. Phenomenal, amazing tunes. So thank you, uh, Chosen Beats Club, for that. And uh, also. You know, if you're not ready to leave the channel, do check out uh, some of these other videos I've hand selected for you if you're not ready to leave and you want to see those things. Thank you so much in advance for being here to watch. I do hope you have a great rest of the day. I am the SMT and we will catch you all on the next video. Peace.